The timing chain tensioner on the YXC1000R is a newly designed self-adjusting hydraulic tensioner which is pressurized with engine oil when the engine is running. The tensioner uses oil pressure and a coil spring to control the timing chain tension. This video would demonstrate the proper procedure to disassemble and then reassemble the tensioner and retract the tensioner rod for installation in the engine. Anytime the tensioner is removed from the engine, it should be disassembled and inspected. Squeeze the clip and remove the tensioner rod, coil spring, and the red plastic spring guide, which also acts as an oil restrictor regulating oil pressure inside the tensioner. When assembled, the tensioner spring is compressed and may cause the rod to extend quickly and fall loose when you squeeze the clip. Clean and check all the parts for damage or wear and replace as needed. Remove any motor oil remaining in the tensioner housing. It may squirt out when the tensioner rod is compressed during reassembly. Reposition the circlet from the end of the timing chain tensioner rod into this groove. Install the clip into the internal groove in the tensioner housing and note the arrow marks. Install the spring with the red plastic spring guide up. Squeeze the clip and then install the tensioner rod into the tensioner housing. Again, be careful as you install the tensioner rod and begin to compress the spring. The rod may spring back quickly and fall loose until it's captured in the housing by the clip. Use a small hobby or machinist vise to slowly compress the timing chain tensioner rod into the tensioner housing while squeezing the tensioner clip. The clip should always be free to move in the housing as you tighten the vise. Tighten the vise very slowly while keeping the clip squeezed. If you feel the vise become tight and the rod doesn't want to compress easily, the clip has probably become wedged in the housing. Loosen the vise slightly, adjust the clip position, and resume tightening the vise. As you continue to push the rod into the tensioner housing, keep the clip squeezed to allow it to pass over the grooves in the rod. Finally, position the clip in the last open groove. Continue to squeeze the clip and compress the tensioner rod a little further into the housing. Go very slowly. As the tensioner rod is pushed further into the housing, the circlip will become wedged into the end of the housing and will be moved onto this section of the tensioner rod. This will lock the tensioner rod in place in the housing. Make sure the clip is in the proper tensioner rod groove and should be aligned with the arrows on the housing. You can now slowly release pressure on the vise and make sure the tensioner rod stays locked in the retracted position. If the tensioner rod is pressed beyond this position, the clip will be pushed out of place and the tensioner rod will not be locked in the retracted position. If this happens, reposition the circlip from the end of the tensioner rod into the starting groove and repeat the process. When the tensioner assembly is installed in the engine, the tensioner rod will be pushed back into the housing slightly by the timing chain guide. This will force the circlip off the ledge onto the end section of the tensioner rod. This releases the tensioner rod, and during operation, the spring and the oil pressure will extend the tensioner rod as needed to control the timing chain tension. As the timing chain wears, the clip is forced into the next groove as the tensioner rod extends further out to compensate for chain wear. 